I loved this hero when she first came out. She was one of those classic heroes that was flanking with Guinevere and Gravemaker. Really amazing hero, but her time has shifted a little bit. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we're going to be doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on Zeline, the Nature Angel Lady. She's got 764 on her attack, 688 on her defense, and 1308 on her health. She is running at fast speed. She deals 143% damage to all enemies. All enemies receive 34% attack for 4 turns, deals extra damage against ice, and removes buffs from all enemies. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. To try this game out, all you gotta do, go to the video description, click on the special links. You'll receive 50 gems, 1 energy refill, 100,000 silver, and 1 free champion. Executioner, all your treasure, it's waiting for you right over here. Pretty awesome hero, running at fast speed, hitting all enemies, and also giving them all defense or all attack down, and dealing extra damage against ice. Do love this hero. Not to mention, she's at fast speed, removing all buffs from all enemies, dispelling everybody. Pretty amazing hero. I loved this hero when she first came out. She was one of those classic heroes that was flanking with Guinevere and Gravemaker. Really amazing hero, but her time has shifted a little bit, uh, mostly when it came to emblems because people were forced between picking between Guinevere and Zeline. So I do factor, I do guess that if they ever do change out tanks again, because right now we're running with green with Teleria, I do definitely see this hero going back in as a flanking hero. Really amazing hero, especially if we're not using Guinevere anymore. So I really love this hero. It's too bad she isn't being seen on defense too much. She is a wizard hero, which like I said, she was battling it out with Guinevere, but she may have some availability now in terms of being able to get some of those wizard emblems. So awesome hero. When we look at what she does against a Titan, she's gonna get an A grade there. Reason being is her attack power at 764. It's pretty awesome. It's definitely in the A range in terms of uh, tiles. And as far as her ability, giving minus 34% attack is definitely a thing. And then you're also dealing extra damage against ice. And then you can also remove the buffs from the enemy. So that's pretty cool. I really, really like this hero on Titans. She's gonna get an A grade there. We look at what she does on offense. She's gonna get an A plus grade. I personally, I have her max and she doesn't fit into my green team, but she's definitely going into my next green team. I really love that she pairs well with a lot of other heroes. You could pair her with Buddy, also uh, Evelyn as well too. So you have to where you, you give defensive down to those heroes and then she comes over the top. She also impacts their attack. So I really, really love this hero. Great, 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 great hero on offense. She's gonna get an A plus grade there. When we look at her defensive strategy, she's gonna get a B plus as a tank. This got raised a little bit. Reason being is it's still definitely a viable tank. Her only issue is she's pretty fragile in terms of her defense and her health. So now with the advent of emblems, I could definitely see that some emblems being placed on her to where she can balance things out a little bit. And not to mention she's impacting all the board and she's gonna deal some extra damage against ice. I'm pretty surprised that you don't see more of her in the tank position. That's why she's got a B plus grade there. When we look at her flank grade, she's gonna get an A plus grade. I really enjoy this hero in the flank, like I mentioned before earlier in this video, but she's not really gonna be flanking too much when you've got Teleria tanks running wild. But if you are pairing her, you've got a different color that you're using, definitely could see her in the flank position doing really well there. That's why she's got the A plus grade. She's impacting all the boards, she's at fast speed, and she's just, she's just a pain to deal with. You definitely have to 
dispel. Uh, you definitely have to cleanse all of your heroes after she goes off because that 34% attack for four turns is definitely relevant. When we look at her wing grade, she's going to get an A grade there. Usually you like to have a single hitter uh, in that, that range at fast speed, but even still her being at fast speed, definitely viable, chilling in the wing there too. So she's got an A grade when we look at her defensive grade as a total, she's going to get an A plus on defense. Absolutely amazing hero. Very flexible. Only issue now is that everybody's running green tanks. So that's kind of the issue. We look at her weekly raid grade. She's going to get an A on rush attack. She's already running at fast speed to now have her running at very fast speed. is definitely relevant. I don't think it really pushes into the A plus range, but it's definitely a viable hero. Great to be running on rush attack. We look at her buff grade. She's going to get an A grade on buff. Again, she's impacting the board to where she gives minus 34% attack, and then she's also removing buffs. That should actually potentially get flexed into an A+. Definitely still an awesome hero to be running on buff. When we look at her bloody battle grade, she's going to get an A grade there. She's impacting all the board. She's keeping all your heroes alive by giving them attack down, and she's also running at fast speed. Overall grade here as an A+. Absolutely amazing throughout all facets of the game. Definitely should appreciate this hero if you do get her. Thanks so much for watching this content. Please make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm pretty surprised that you don't see too many uh, other... I'm pretty...